Hello, hello, and welcome back to me let's playing through Portal 2. Since, unfortunately, my last playthrough of this entire area, the recording screwed up and only recorded in 420 or 480, instead of glorious 1080p, guess who gets to re-record the section? I'll give you a hint. It's me! Which is good, actually, because I like the section. So, we're just gonna power right through. Alright, and just like last time, I gotta get reacclimated to the projector. There we go. For those curious, yes, I am playing on an old projector. Uh, it does do 1080p, but that's about as high as it goes. So, let's see, we are in the underground facility, which we know as being the salt mine that Cave Johnson bought. But we are coming up on the condemned testing area where Wheatley punched us down. Because wonderful, wonderful Wheatley decided to prove he wasn't an idiot by hitting us. Vitrification Order 615-1961. Do not look at, touch, ingest, or engage in conversation with any substance be substances beyond this point. I intend to touch a lot of things. A lot. This enrichment shaft may contain unsafe quantities of cosmic ray spallation elements. Got it. Don't care. Yep, I know to zoom. Thank you, game. Oh, dizzy. Alright, here we go. We touch. <clears throat> do not enter. Keep out. By the way, I do still have this cold that has been bugging me for the last almost week straight. So that, at least I've got that going for me. Now where, look at all this, well, nothing. That's a lot of nothing. Boing, boing, boing. All right. <clears throat> Pull the lever. As I stated before, I have played this game quite a bit, so I know what's going on. And look at that great big door. But I am going to pretend I don't know what's going on at least a little bit, because it's fun. Where does the door take us? The door takes us to adventure! And mystery! And tacos. Maybe not tacos. It should take us to tacos. I would support that. Alright, so let's push the button, run through, push the button, and get down here and watch the door. Let me through, let me through, let me through. I want to see the door. I want to touch the door. I want to poke the door. <sighs> no, no poking the door. Wait for it. Wait for it. What is it? The inky blackness. What's there? What is it? What have I unleashed? I have unleashed a door. Okay. Can I sit? I'm kind of tired. Oh well. Forward. Onward. <clears throat> so, yeah. Welcome to the old Aperture Laboratories or Aperture Science. Do not lean on railing. Look at all the slime. Danger. Dissolving hazard. Always fun. Boing, boing, boing. Boing. This place is huge. It goes on for miles. Someone said that. I think it was Wheatley. Boing, 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 boing. Actually, I know it was Wheatley. So, I know where we're going. We're going to go right here. No. No, 
right there and <clears throat> right there. Beautiful. Throw the switch. And here we go. Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> Now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. Aww. And let's go. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our rich spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any <coughs> questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Adventure! Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Hmm. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Can I do that test instead? Oh well. Well, like I was saying, or starting to say, there is our good friend Mr. Cave Johnson, who was just talking to us. Uh, as we can see here, Cave Johnson wants to bring science to Upper Michigan. So he bought a salt mine to do our testing in. And he used to be a shower curtain salesman for quite a few years and then turned into aperture science. But he does love potato science, so we're good there. Also, twice the runner up US Defense Contractor of the Year. Wonder who won. Hmm. Either way. We <clears throat> I think we should go up. What do you think? Should we go up? Let's go up. Going up. Old aperture science. It's so old. Ancient I'm going up. I'm just glad the power's still on down here. That could be bad. Forward. Alright. Our eventual goal is pump station alpha and then the exit. But as you can see, that's pretty far away. So we're going to go over here. Actually, we're gonna go over here because there's some doors over here. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Well, let's pretend that didn't happen, shall we? <sighs> okay, let's do it the right way. I guess you do have to shoot there. Yes, yes you do. No, we could have shot there. Just bad aim. So these are vitrified doors. The test chambers have been discontinued. Let's hear what the entrance was. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. Ooh. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. Good. Wait. Don't I need blood to live and breathe? not die. Oh well. Next one. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next <laughs> series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever potty. comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Cold, huh? 
There's an uptight joke somewhere up there, but I'm not going to go too far to find it. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. Sounds fun. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. I want some tumors. No, I don't want any tumors. Oh, the walkway's out. I guess we're going to fly. But where to launch from? You may be asking yourself. Well, I have the answer for that as well. We are going to jump through the elevator shaft. Through the shaft. Yes. Where's yellow? Yellow. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's just pretend that we meant to do that. We were just showing that off, right? Right. You're losing it, McIntyre. Shh. Talking to myself. Let's try this again. We. Onward. Into pump station alpha. Know your allergens. Pollen, pollen, animal dander, plastics, and antimatter. I might be allergic to antimatter. Should I not do this test? Know your hazardous materials. Do not touch anything unfamiliar. I'm going to touch everything. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes no matter how good they smell. Well, where's the fun in that? Me in. Let me in. I pushed the button, let me in. <clears throat> I've turned on the pumps. Hey look, there's the exit. exit. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. <laughs> no hand-holding. Woohoo, scratch science. It sounds itchy. I think I made that joke last time I played through this. Nah. Come on. These are blinding. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. Okay, You're kids. not part of the control group, by the way. You get the <clears> gel. <throat> last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Hmm. Portal guns used to be a lot bigger. Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding, pudding, a pudding substitute because nobody likes good pudding. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass. Ooh. Da -da 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 -da. Summary, when you ate it, it caused food in your stomach to bounce out of your mouth. Taken off... <clears throat> excuse me. Taken off the shelves... For these reasons. <laughs> Consult the following fact placards. Repulsion gel lawsuits concerning and public outrage over. People were a little irritated, I suppose. There's a button. There's a button. Cube dropping button. Whee! Ow. There. And now just to jump across to victory. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. Damn straight. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. That's right, Cave. You pay the bills. You make the rules. Old monitoring, test monitoring station. Boing. I am going to try all the secrets that I remember. I know last time I missed one. So that For annoyed me. For this next me. test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. 
In layman's terms, that's a 